we're gonna create a frequency polygon using Excel. Now I've got my data here in a grouped frequency distribution and I'm gonna be using my midpoints and my frequencies. Now I have already calculated my midpoints, but if you haven't, you wanna take the lower limit. So I'm gonna go equals parenthesis, either the lower limit or the lower class boundary, it doesn't matter which. I'll do the lower limit plus the upper limit for that class, close parenthesis, and then slash for divided by two to get to each of those midpoints. Now you'll notice in my chart, I've got an extra row both above my data and below my data. I need to create a midpoint outside of my data on either end. To do that, I'm gonna use that class width of 62, and I wanna be 62 below that first one of 83.5. So I'm gonna go equals, let's click on the 83.5 and subtract my class width of 62. I'm gonna do something similar to get my last midpoint, but for this one, I'm gonna go equals I'm going to go ahead and click on that last midpoint and then add 62. Now both of these, because they're outside of my data, have a frequency of zero. This is going to give my graph a really nice starting place and ending place. We're ready to insert our frequency polygon. I'm going to highlight by clicking, holding, and dragging through my data. And then I'm gonna to go to inserts. Now there's two ways that you can do this. You can either choose recommended charts. Excel usually does a decent job here or you can click on the scatter plot option. I'm gonna go ahead and click on recommended plots. Either way, you wanna work yourself towards this scatter plot here. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one and it is my scatter plot. And then I'm gonna click okay. Let me move this one over a little bit so we've got everything here in view. Now you'll notice that it's looking decent. I've got all of my data values there, but I want different labels on the horizontal axis. To change these labels to be my midpoints instead, I'm gonna double click on the those labels and I end up with my format axis options. It's asking me first for the minimum. I'm going to go ahead and put that minimum at 21.5 that very, very first midpoint that we just created. And the maximum is gonna be that last midpoint that we just created of 331.5. Now there's one more thing that I've gotta do and that's to tell Excel that I'm using a class width of 62. That's gonna change my major units from 50. Let's go ahead and highlight over that and type 62. Okay, we're looking so much better. We really now need some labels. To get to some labels, I I am going to click once on my chart and I end up with this plus sign. I'm gonna click the plus sign and I wanna add axis titles. So now you see that I've got an axis title for both the horizontal and the vertical. I'm gonna double click on the horizontal one. This data actually represents college credits, college credits, and the vertical one is frequency. My chart title is gonna be Frequency Polygon. I'm just double clicking to get into that text box. And I'm gonna do one more thing and that's to add some data labels. So I again am clicking once on my chart, click the plus sign and then go ahead and click on data labels and it puts each of your frequencies there. Now you can also resize your chart. You can click on it and move it around, but otherwise we are done. Next, I'm gonna show you how to do an ogive. Take a look at the video right here. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.